All right, should I go? Yeah. All right. Yay. On the last time of Shattered Planets, uh, the party finally decided that, well, with Vivi now completely aware of our planned deception, we were pretty much forced to just consider Nim and and his plans to destroy the Flaming Eye. But we longed to find you know, some other anchor, some other place where we could potentially meet neutral allies. So we found ourselves at this small packed station, inhabited by people that look remarkably like the people on the ship that we had found floating in space, being devoured by the Flaming Eye vessels. And, well, no sooner did we get onto the base to, well, was it well noted that we were, in fact, cruising in on none other than Blythe Featherfall's ship, we... Well, you know, try to uh, sh push aside that situation and and fib our, <laughs> fib our way through uh, the initial guards, but then we came on upon the dreaded fanboy. Turns out <laughs> Blythe has quite the substantial following on Facebook and host of <laughs> other social media sites, and well, we when he realized that we came in on a ship that looked remarkably like Blythe's, well, he wanted a tour. And, well, Greg came up with the wonderful idea of pretending that it was a, a replica, though. Uh, how we acquired an exact replica of Blythe's ship, huh? Yeah. So, eventually we had to consider our options. I mean, the kid, he said that he could get us anything we wanted, pretty much, if we gave him a bathrobe. Yep, that's right, a bathrobe. And we were considering our options. Uh, you know, maybe we could get another vessel, maybe we could get back on Blythe's good side. And... And in the confusion, I, he was starting to, to question precisely how we got the ship, that maybe we had pilfered it, and maybe Blythe was dead or stranded somewhere in space. And I, I panicked and promptly turned him into a small, diminutive alien creature with a pudgy face. Uh, well, you know the gist. So, everyone was debating what to do with the poor little thing, and, well, Greg attempted to feed him to Flirth, and... I couldn't stand by that, and fortunately, Skitter took the kid aside and hid him in a broom closet. So, I I know I have to resolve this. The polymorph only lasts an hour, and, well, I need to find a way to remedy this situation. By the way, where is Flurf, guys? That felt very practiced. Good job. It wasn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just, well, talking as myself, I suppose. Uh-huh. All right, so... Uh, I mean, I, where's the flurf? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think he was probably with me at some point, and then I probably punted him somewhere else. Uh, uh, usually he comes back. It's actually kind of unnerving that I don't have him around me right now. Uh, oh, so you really like started, him now. That's he's revolting. started to grow uh, on you, huh? That's a, a very literal of sense. words. Uh, Greg, I think we all very specifically want him to not grow <laughs> in the jaw. Oh God, damn it! <laughs> all right, it probably breaks your hand or something. Like yeah. That. Um. Oh geez. How would this? Go? Well, you do have a medical bait nearby. That would be a good excuse. I, to use I'm it. trying to decide if he punches himself wow. or he's just. I think you're feeling dress up. Wow. <laughs> it's more like a caress. Like it's one of those where you miss with the punch and you like. You like your your second just instinct animating? Just... like did I trip and like land on on his boobs? Or yeah, something? pretty much. You you just you just harem protagonist your way into Dress's good graces. Greg Baca, the shaved um, chin has really changed you. Uh let that You're be a so lesson to you. Don't smooth. ever make fun of Greg. <laughs> Greg goes into this room <laughs> or I'll try to <laughs> to, <laughs> to to get around his embarrassment. Wait, what did I just witness? Does duh, duh. <laughs> I, Oh uh, man, we really just started off strong, didn't we? <laughs> it's called passion. <laughs> okay, well, while those two love birds are distracted, Skitter, yeah? take <laughs> take me to the poor kid. Oh, uh yeah, uh... Because I need to convince him to change his mind, and if I have to use magic to do so, then, well, so be it. But we just need to 
pretty much erase the last several minutes of his life. Sure. I Wow, that's dark, but uh, that's no, fine. No, I lied just, about the broom closet thing. Just He's from in my his bag. memory. <laughs> There's oh. no broom closets on this station. Well, then where did you put him? My bag. Wait, he's been sitting in your bag? Uh, the, uh, it's got some upgrades. Oh. What? I've had to throw uh, plenty of people in my bag now, so I have a bag for people. Are there even uh, more knives? No, that's the other bag. Okay, well, in any case, uh, let's Pity find... Pity the fool when you mix those two up. Let's find a place where we won't be spotted. Uh, well, uh... Well, there's always the ship. I mean... Okay. We never did check that thing for bugs. Wait, what do you mean by the ship? For bugs? What? I mean, you do know there's like security systems and cameras. Like, for all we know, they could be recording our every moment. Oh, you mean here? Well, or on Blythe's ship. Oh, oh, I'm imagining the shower. Are we getting VV'd again? I mean, I'm not going to say there I mean, isn't possibly footage of Greg, us, to be clear. <laughs> Greg in the shower, but... What? 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 But I use that shower, too! Yeah, well, you're not a hot topic on the internet right now. But I... Uh, but, uh, Burn? What? Dang. Okay, no, I'm, I'm not perturbed by the fact that... That I'm not important enough and a hot topic. It's okay, I'm, you can I'm, also be an internet celebrity one day. I'm mortified by the fact that there's still maybe footage out there to be used as leverage against me. Um, well, in any case, uh, well, don't, don't you have that device that scrambles things? That's for, uh, yeah, but I can't cover the entire ship with that. It only works once a day. I did say that. Oh. Yeah. Well... Can we find a spot on this station? I mean, it's got to be... Well, we could always go back to where the kid was. Uh, that's it's true. It's not like there's a whole lot of space tourism that goes on. Okay, fine. We'll talk with him there. Okay. All right, and then I suppose we'll figure out maybe what you guys are up to? Or do you want me to okay. continue okay. this line of stuff? Parallel so editing. Uh, Greg and Drez, you guys have walked into a shop. There are guns, there's armor, there's equipment, there's stuff. And there's a kind of befuddled looking man behind the counter. Who seems to be, like, rubbing his hands on mm -hmm. his, like, pants. Like he touched something weird. So we have no way of knowing that Dirk's there, right? No, no you have no way just, of knowing. This is just as randomly the first door. This is just randomly the first well, door. I just, I was very embarrassed and walked into the store, and so did you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is What convenient. even is the store of? Uh, yeah. It's, it's got, it, yeah, it's got guns, armor. I'm not going to oh. draw all that stuff, but if you want to buy <laughs> equipment, this would be the place to buy it. That is gonna buy all right, they area. sell shelves here. What's a gun? <laughs> uh... A gun? Well then, sir. I'm kind of surprised you've never heard of one, but let me show you. And he pulls out, like, ten guns. He's like, this is a handgun. This is an assault rifle. This is a shotgun. This... Hey, shouldn't you make them sound more space-themed? Like, repulsor... I'm sorry, <laughs> let me sound gun, like somebody... Space that's... bullets. <laughs> that obey space gravity. <laughs> space... All right, so I've got some space bullets for you oh, and some space Why guns. did you make that recommendation? Oh, it's so much worse. <laughs> and this is a space grenade launcher. It fires grenades, but since there's no gravity, they fire straight. No one here. Rod Rodney Spacerfield. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I didn't mean change his voice. I meant, like, you don't we have to. We know what to. you meant. He uh... <laughs> became a space redneck. <laughs> This. Second Amendment still applies in space. This is a sword that shoots guns. This is a, su <laughs> a gun that shoots uh, swords. Uh, okay. Um, what do they do? The the guns or the swords? I know what a sword is. What does a gun do? Okay. I just saw a sign that said guns, and I was like, I, I don't mean, know what judging that is. by your equipment, you've been shot by one. Oh, oh! Is that what those things are? 
The L oh, shape I want that four. does magic. They're the L oh. shapes that do magic. <laughs> okay, four. What kind of guns? Do you want big guns, small guns? Some as big as your head? Um, what's the one that, uh, can kill people the best? Uh, well, best is subjective. Do you want silently? Do you want messy? Do you no, want limbs no, flying we'll all over them, the place? No, do you want big boy, a big man? Do you want your enemies to just be vaporized? Nothing left but an ash pile? Mm, yes. Okay. Well, I... Let me... You, you should actually probably pull up the Starfinder SRD for this one, because, like... Okay. St straight up, he just has pretty much everything up to... Uh, in the uh, meantime, can I be looking inside some of these boxes back here? Yes, you can. Uh, so, uh, let me just finish finish this. So, he has pretty much all armor augmentations and equipment up to level 10. Um, oh. I think, I think everything kind of has a level next to it if you look on the tables. I could be wrong. Yeah, it'll say level, like, 1 to 10. Okay. And, um, I guess... Okay, that's badass. <laughs> In the Which item one? list, there's the there's a sword cane. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Zero edge. <laughs> um. But so, uh, you guys have. Uh, I'm gonna say you have about fifty thousand credits. We haven't okay. really like uh, talked money, but uh, Skitter has probably passed you some amount of funds at this point. I like the sound okay. of this thing. So, Flurf, you are in the back room. You are in a room with a bunch of of boxes. Yeah. I'll and... rush over to this big one. Okay. Try to try to open it. How? Um, <laughs> with sheer strength. Okay. You managed to wrench it, the box open. Inside is a suit of power armor. Uh, one that could fit me? Uh, with some... Well, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I mean, for starters, you are a cube. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, you're a cuboid vegetable man. You're looking and... for more of, like, an Amazon shipping box <laughs> for armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I can just empty out one of these boxes and use it as armor. <laughs> Alright, let me find one that's uh, smaller. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there's there's a smaller box that you could fit in fairly flush. Alright, try to and, pry that open. Yeah, I mean, ultimately you're just kind of pulling at the latch. Uh, oh, so I don't open this one. Uh, it's a little harder. These, these boxes are not exactly meant to be just ripped open. Okay, I'll try to, um, um, pick the lock. Okay, so you've identified what the lock is. Uh, let's see, and you've also identified that the skill that you want to be using is actually... <laughs> uh, what did they change it to? Uh, mm -hmm. Sleight of hand. Yeah, probably to, sleight of hand. To pick box. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You, um, you kind of, like, you don't really have much for arms in this current state. <laughs> so you're mostly yeah. just, like, s slowly just pressing your hand into the gap. Touch. And, yeah. It remains unimpressed. Um, okay. Are any of these boxes, uh electronic or computerized in any way uh let's see many of them have electronic locks yes but it looks like they're they're the kind that like don't have a basic interface like you know they require like a key card or something yeah but can't i can still hack it right uh you need like a, a, a connection port or you're entirely wireless i'm confused wasn't i able to um, like I interface need... with the ship and so many other things wirelessly. Yeah, I need something for these boxes. Uh, well, can you hack my uh? Can you hack my Game Boy? My Game Boy Advance. 
I'm just trying uh, to come up with like, oh, an easy example. Oh, okay. You know, these boxes don't connect to the internet, and so you 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 get in through the internet. You need like a a, a physical means of like interacting with these things. Well then. I think I'll just go over to another box and try to open that one. Okay. Wow. So, Yay. Nice. Well, <laughs> you just wrenched that one open. The smaller one? Yeah, the one that I'm on. Yeah. Okay. Do you care about what's about in it, size. or are you just trying to wear it? Uh, well, I'm curious of what's in it, but I, I'm just opening this up to wear it. Okay. Let me, let me pull out the uh, random loot generator. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. That's uh, I figured out what I want to buy too. So okay, we're good. Whenever. All right. Um, you find it looks like some pretty hefty armor. It's pretty bulky. It has a beret. Oh, a beret. Yep. Huh. Well, I can't. I can't exactly shove this in my pocket. It's a shame too. It would, probably would have looked great on Drez. <laughs> okay, uh, so I, I I just put I, the box on my head. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you you pretty much snuggle yourself inside the box. Do you do you close it or are you just surrounded on all but one side by box? So he has uh, a box on the inside and the outside? Yeah, it's a <laughs> Matryoshka box with a layer of flirt. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I I leave the the underside open so I can still like walk around as the box. Okay. Sort of like inconspicuously. <laughs> How do you box. see? It's a good question. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Are you moving or are you just staying there? I'm just staying here for now. Okay. We're not gonna. If we end up going back there, we're not gonna find him now. God damn it, <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Greg, what are you up to? What are you All buying? Right. I want four things. I want a prosthetic limb that's better than the robot Dimitri limb, like one that's normal length. Wait, is wait. that an option here? Yeah, it's right. cybernetic. I had an idea, and I, I I must do it. I put the beret on top of the box that I'm uh, that I'm okay. in. Okay. <laughs> How? <laughs> Before I put the box on. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Uh so uh well, or I guess to to make uh, sense of the sequence, I take the box off, put the beret on top of the box and then put the beret and box on again. Okay. Sure. Now it has personality. So uh, <laughs> I can't so buy a cybernetic arm yet. That's the next level. So a prosthetic arm it is. Okay. Well, actually, uh, you'll have to go to the clinic across the way. I'm not exactly equipped for replacing arms without... Uh, well, I have the arm here. Pretty much you just buy it and you're going to have to take it over there for, for the actual, actual surgery. I don't... I don't know if you have the correct uh, socket, so this this might may take a little bit extra. But anyway, sure. No, 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 no. What? You've been talking over all the people. Are you okay? What? Oh, you timed out. We're, We're not all dead. Oh, I am back. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I could hear you guys in your confusion. I'm like, Wander. They don't. <laughs> yep. They can't hear <laughs> you. I... You can't hear them. I just Your lost internet. internet. It farted. It, it's right, still no farting. Prosthetic Give, no, no, no. Then. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Uh, there we go. I think. I think my internet's back. Everything okay? Uh, that was weird. Yeah, I, I was. I was talking. I couldn't hear you guys. And then Shell's like, "Shh, you're talking over them." And I'm like, "What?" Yeah, Everybody's weird. quiet on my end. Okay, <laughs> anyway, we're back. Everybody can hear me. So, uh, what were you saying? You wanted to buy the limb. Let's let's just go back to you buy, wanting to buy the limb. And okay. then we'll work our way back up. Prosthetic limb. Can't buy a cybernetic one. Oh, well, if you... Uh, you, you have to buy it here, I guess, but you're going to have to go to cyber surgery across the way. <sighs> Two places. 
Never mind. Well. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to buy a plasma rifle, yellow star. Okay. I have to go to two places so I can keep having two arms. <laughs> and for armor, I'm going to pick up a iridescent. An iridescent. Iridescent. Advanced. Okay. Well, then. Uh, let's see. The. Well, the plasma rifle's right there on the rack. You can just grab it, and I'll, I guess I'll be back with the, the armor. Was there anything else? You said there was a fourth thing. Oh, uh, voice modulator. Oh, a friend. Well, uh, yep. Do you want that part of the armor or not? Uh, yeah, throw it on the armor. Okay, will do. How's it going to afford this? Did you just invest in trying to sound cool? A voice modulator only costs 125 credits. <laughs> You just invested in trying to sound cool. Yeah. And and I got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Did Do you actually get a voice credits? modulator on your end that you can use? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I am going to set oh. that up. Okay. So, Greg, <laughs> while you're waiting, you hear, What the devil? Uh -huh. From the uh, from the storeroom. <laughs> Jeez it. <laughs> uh. Okay. You come in to see the thing. storekeeper lifting a metal box off of Flurf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I was looking for that. What? The... This is yours? The yep. sound that I had to make. <laughs> I... Just... Why is it in... Why is it in my storeroom? What is it? I don't know this? why it's in the storeroom. Huh? I... Did the... Did the... Can I have it? I'll take it uh, back. Uh, I have it? <laughs> sure, it seems to... Ugh, it's gross. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not even going to question it. Just get it out of here. I thought All it was right, supposed to be you. back here, but... I, ugh. What All about right, my so, beret? Oh, you, uh, he, I'll bet the beret for him, too. Oh, oh okay. You have. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess I'd say I'd, I, I need to fleece him for stolen goods, but... Huh. All right. Well, uh, the beret, well, that's like five five credits, so that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, here's your armor. It's got the voice modulator installed, and it's all good. And Get out of my shop! Hey, <laughs> I'm fine, whatever. Uh. All right, and I'm just going to head back to the... I you notice he has a gun. Dress, apparently. <laughs> he has a gun now. He doesn't look very happy with you. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he just gave him the armor without even. Well, he's, a, he's no, already bought it. Credit? Yeah, okay. He's already it. he's already bought it. Yeah. You'd, yeah. you'd credit. He did the charge first. Huh. Yeah. All right, and I didn't know he had credits. I thought we still had gold on. They had fifty thousand apiece. That's what he said. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. I, so, I didn't realize that. Uh, kind of tacit retcon. Skitter has given you money. Not uh, much, but you have some. Okay. You all have oh, fifty thousand credits. Too? With the exception of Flurf, okay, of course. <laughs> you have you have some amount of money. I don't actually know, but your character I actually, used to have fish. Yeah, what's mo um, the most valuable thing you have? Flurf is on the inside. That's kind of true. Uh, Box. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. This uh, what really damage big. mods apply to a uh, rifle for character wealth by so uh, Durf? You actually have about. I want to say hundred thousand credits. What the? I'm using I'm using the Isn't space money. I don't understand to much? buy the biggest thing yeah, I can find. You have twice <laughs> as much money as they do because you don't have anything. You oh. have you yeah. have a literal pea shooter and like kind of biomod armor that you just are. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of upset that I don't have that uh, box anymore. I was kind of hoping that it could actually. Um, I mean, if you want to go buy the box, go back and buy it. Yeah, <laughs> you'll have to probably pay him extra, but it's it's a metal box. For a, They're not for a box. Expensive. Yeah, I you, think I'll find the next box somewhere else. Okay, <laughs> you're too good to buy the metal <laughs> box you attempted to steal. Jeez, when do you have a hundred thousand? Uh, what damage mods apply to a ranged weapon? Uh, none. Okay. Uh, wait, no, your level. Okay. Lord I know level. weapon specialization is for one weapon, but like, whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay, damage ability, damage notes. Okay, I'm good. I got my my rifle in. 
I, I just grabbed like one of the biggest things I could find and just clunk it on the counter. And I waved, biggest... fake, I waved the weird fake money at him. Okay, <laughs> biggest what are you, thing. Are you negging no, him? I've, what are I've you got doing? The, no, it's a sniper rifle. Oh, yeah. oh. I've got the you... Shear and I rifle elite. Okay. I, I thought you wanted me to just generate the no. highest. <laughs> I was like, I, just I found can do a this. really, really long gun. <laughs> All right. Uh, sure. That'll be however much that is. Uh, the list is huge. Pike Elite. Sonata. Yeah, actually, at the end of the month, they're going to be releasing their official uh, list of expanded weapons and gear. I'm trying to figure the Shirin Eye Rifle. Oh, uh, that's a little out of your price range, and also, uh, I don't have that in stock. I've got the. Uh... <laughs> Wait, how did what you drop it? it in front of him then? Yeah. yeah, I've got the shop hat. If that's what it, I mean, you've handed me the shop hat. <laughs> display model. Is this what you wanted, or? I'm gonna throw this in here for now. Because the Sheer and I rifle is level thirteen. Aren't we level thirteen? He level only 12. has up to level ten. Or oh yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll wiggle room it. It's eleven. Continuity. So where, where can I find the this list of stuff? Maybe the uh, internet. Yeah, uh, let so me send Durf, it to you. It works up, until it uh, doesn't, and then in, then the part where it didn't work it blows up your world. Here's the uh, <laughs> weapons list. You can navigate from here. So, uh, uh, Durf, the, uh... in general, if you want to look up any of the rules for this game, just Google Starfinder System Reference Sifts, eh, Starfinder System Reference Document or SRD for short, and there's uh, two websites that will that will do it, and they pretty much have every core rulebook just available. For you to peruse online it's really helpful so if you want to look at uh equipment to upgrade to uh little like gadgets that you want to get so on and so forth uh, uh that's okay. where you do it and actually uh just in general you guys can order this stuff like between sessions because delivery uh, and true. it'll just but get... not to this sector yeah <laughs> i don't know i kind of like the, the npc sector. dialogue that kind of no, works it's itself true. out it's uh, true where's the clinic by the way uh, Across the way. Yeah, literally the okay. one with the red beds. I gave him the Monopoly there. money for the sh okay. shop okay. had. So, which is uh, a cool, are we gonna? Which is a second. less cool. Uh, I think uh, we're still working out Drez buying the thing. Oh, okay. I can flip over to you. Hi, Greg. Uh. Oh, hi. I'm hurt. Okay, we'll deal with that in a second. For now, mm -hmm. we got to go back to Drez. So, uh, <laughs> what was... What the fuck uh, are you talking about, Nim? Shut up, Greg. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Knowledge too. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, the... Did you did you want to get the, the sniper rifle one level lower, or... Yeah, the shop had striker Shop had. Okay, well... Horizon striker. Uh, I mean, you got it in your hands. Just pay me, and I'll, you can carry it right out. We don't have uh, concealed carry permits around here, and that's a little bit too much for concealed carry. But well, I after the him, pirates moved in, no one I cares. I give him the money, and then I just disappear. Ooh, ah. <laughs> spooky! Ah, ah personal space. <laughs> ah, you are turning into an NPC. Yeah. And he throws Flurf out of the shop, or <laughs> what? slides him out of the shop with. I can't. I can't buy shit. <laughs> you were I, found. I buy you you broke into his store. You yeah, know? he doesn't. He doesn't want to. You're gonna have to make friends with you. You broke me into his store. I mean, you tried. <laughs> are you gonna? Uh, well, are you gonna try and convince him that uh, <laughs> that he put you in the store? Sure. That would be um, an interesting process. That's a diplomacy check. Or bluff. Crap. Uh, I don't think it's a bluff. It's, crap. The, it's the truth. <laughs> Oh. All right. <laughs> he doesn't seem terribly impressed. Next time you want to buy from a shop, try not to break into it first. I wave five of my six hands in a Jedi fashion to say, you are impressed. <laughs> no, I, I'm not. The broom is, though. He's, like, poking you in the face with the broom. That wasn't the Jedi mind oh. trick animation. That was the wax on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm kind of imagining like Flurf's. You can also ask one of like, us to just buy whatever you need. 
I'm imagining Fleur Slims are extra, like, non-threatening or convincing since he's a box and, like, most yeah. of his mass oh, is yeah. spread over it. So it's just kind of, like, latex and he's got, like, the little hanging fluff, off the side. Like, squeak voice, too, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh. I can actually wave my hands and make people do things. Okay. I remember it. Oh, right anyway. Show off. <laughs> In what part of his anatomy even is the, the box? <laughs> so, wait, do I have uh, six the arms bladder. and two legs? Uh, I think so. Two, le two legs and it's six kind of, arms. You're amorphous. Yeah, I you mean. can kind of <laughs> make limbs, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, if I can make more limbs, then yeah, I can you've got hold like, more weapons. You've got... Like, <laughs> you've got <laughs> well, you focused on the right part of that <laughs> yeah. sentiment. In, in Starfinder, even if you have extra sets of arms, you can only have like the same attacks as any other Yeah, two technically, character. I will allow you to shoot two guns in a turn. Two different guns. But that's the extent of what you can do. Oh, so I can't swing six swords? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. That's a thing in, like, D&D &D and Pathfinder, but not uh, not Starfinder. And also, like, you start incurring such heavy penalties, it's probably well, also, not thought, worth it. Like, the only other races uh, I can recall had forearms, not... Well, so normally, more. normally you it's like a minus four or two penalty, kind of depending. But if you start adding extra limbs without the, like, associated training and, like... Stuff, it starts becoming like minus eights across the board, and then just eventually you never hit anything. It's weird. But if All you right. want to hold six guns and then shoot them in sequence over the course of three different turns, yeah. <laughs> what? Well, why? No reloading. <laughs> yeah. Does Wait, doesn't... Uh, I've never had to reload before, have I? Uh, we just kind of implicitly you've never reload between fights. Uh, you guys should actually pay attention to this. So, Keith, you have two shots before you run out of ammo. Yep. Um, and I've already Durf, got it you've all never shot in. enough. You've never shot enough bullets during combat to need to reload, so I just always assume. What but are you doing? Attacking. attacking. Yeah, uh, your, your gun has 16 shots before you run out of ammo, and then you have to reload, which is literally that's, you just peeking me, right? into the gun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm fine with my little pea shooter. Yeah, Keith. Also, remember you get to add your level to your damage. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out this character sheet and how yeah, it works. Fair enough. On the oh. weapon sheet, it says usage of four. Does that mean I use four bullets every time I shoot? Uh, four ammo. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. It okay. uses it uses four bullets. Out that makes of sense. It is a rifle, the maximum so it is. probably is like a burst shot. All right. Yep. Now I just need to figure okay. out how to shoot trees at people at great range. Don't mind the fact that I shouldn't be running this clinic. What's up, Greg? I'm hurt. I, well, yeah. Heal me. Uh, oh, facial hair is such a hard thing to grow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't care about that. <laughs> Talking oh. about the fact that I have multiple bullet wounds. But, I mean, they feel like a long time ago. I'm at 50 on my character sheet. I mean... I'm feeling 50 out of 90, if I were to kind of summarize how I'm feeling right now. Eh, I think popped out when you're sleeping. Uh, oh. Gross. You people hey, are horrifying. All right. I'm That's feeling fine, about 50 out of 90. <laughs> all right, well, if I'm feeling that much better and just didn't realize it, then can uh, you, can you check out my cool voice modulator. Uh, Greg just kind of flips the voice modulator to a random voice. But, hello. No, not the asthma setting. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Dr. Nim? I'm doing fine. I broke into yeah. this clinic because nobody's using it. Oh, no. It. This is the Hannibal setting. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you break into a clinic just for the fact that no one is using it? I like medicine, all right? You're weird. Or you. That's why he thinks he's a god. He's a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Drez, Drez quit, quit teleporting in front of me. You can't tell me what to do. All right, I guess we'll flip back to Alarn and Skitter now. <laughs> Alarn and Skitter. Okay. So we have... Okay, Skitter. Yeah? Produce the Porg. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me just... All right. Now, when I release the Polymorph... I'm going to have to quickly cast Modify Memory, and I'm going to ensure 
that he does not remember what transpired pretty much since we started flubbing our explanation about how we came across Blythe's ship up through, well, this very moment. Okay. Do you need, like, should I hold him down? It, it should actually pacify him. Oh. If it works. Okay. So just, you're going to release it. So I, I just had to have him. Okay. Well, that's easy. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I released the polymorph and immediately cast modify memory before he can truly regain Does he get a will save? Yeah, will. Okay. Oh, no. And I can counter counter it. Uh, what's to. the DC? Uh, is this like based off my current level stuff? I, I don't. Always. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I always thought it was like 16 or 17 most recently since uh, we leveled up. But let me see. The Pathfinder numbers are a lot higher, though, aren't they? Yeah. Spell DC uh, Finder. Because I straight up do not remember every time, because every system has a different savings throw. Okay, 10 plus your ability modifier plus the spell level. Okay, well, the spell level is level 4. Okay. And my ability modifier, I believe the last time I checked, we were level three or four, right? For the modifiers. And then 10 plus the spell level four, probably another four. So what? It would be 18. Uh, your ability modifier is just your charisma modifier. What's your charisma? Oh, yeah, four. Okay, so DC 18. Okay. Okay, so you get him. All right. So I'm going to modify his memory of pretty much what occurred back on the ship. So okay. I'm going to have it that, you know, we didn't turn him into the poor. Greg didn't try to shove him into Flurf's mouth. That our whole <laughs> conversation was pretty cordial and we were going to allow him to, to take the robe and get him to convince Blythe to come and peace and whatnot, but I'm going to rework it so that when we explain to him how he came upon the ship, because he was, seemed quite frightened because of the fact that, you know, there was the potential that we may have left Blythe out in space, when we know for a fact that we had left him on the space station, we're just going to say that, I'm not going to say Dr. Nim, because I don't know how these people react to Nim, since Nim seems to be a deposed despot person, but we're going to say that a contact who is you know, potentially a friend of Blythe, was able to use this ship because it was one of the fastest ships in the known known galaxy to reach us just in time and whisk us away, and we just need to return it to Blythe safe and sound. And if he could, you know, broker some kind of uh, meeting, that would be great. And, yeah. And also... That's pretty much it. Okay. It's really funny that like the most dangerous thing an NPC can do is bore Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So I've modified his memory and oh yeah, I should probably also make sure that it we walk out of the ship in here. And he still has his robe and everything, so okay. everything's good. Okay. Boom. Uh he looks kind of dazed. Okay, he's coming off of something. Maybe porg. Um, and he's like, uh, oh, yeah, I, uh, sounds, sounds good. So I'll just tell Blythe to come here. Yeah, sure. Just, just send a quick message. Okay. And also, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And what's your name, by the way? Oh, uh, well, everybody just calls me boy. So you can just call me boy. Really? Aww. Really? Just boy? I mean, I'm the youngest person on the station. Oh, okay. We almost updated that title. <laughs> yeah. He would have been uh, he would have been great flair for material. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to get onto uh Interstellagram and uh I'll send him a message. I mean, I don't know if he's going to listen to me, but it's a it's worth a shot. 
All right, except I'm realizing that if he sees what everyone else is seeing on Insta Stella, yeah, you notice that... you notice a lot of pictures of Greg. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you were thinking, telling life to I, come here. I'm going to use. Um, oh God, attacked me no. on site the one time I met him. I yeah. I feel like Alarin is learning that her magic that messes with people people's minds is like a monkey's paw. <laughs> you know what doesn't mess with people's minds? A sword. Uh, <laughs> Stab him in the face and that's move on. Terrible. He's a terrible. child. Okay. So <laughs> I am your going. Notification <laughs> of her saying it's terrible. <laughs> okay, I am going to. Uh, use um well first off i'm going to use charm person so that we are we are friendly with one another and he'll believe what i say okay uh oh he has to make a little safe doesn't he this yeah. is gonna go so bad wow oh my uh, god you what's what's the dc on charm person 18 oh uh it's spell level oh spell wait what you should make this oh, roll in secret oh so this is know. only this is only a <laughs> one Okay. So does that take it down? Just is it like f is it exactly? It's, it's exactly fifteen. Okay. Well, then can I use <laughs> cutting words oh my God. to pare that down <laughs> just a little bit more by one die six? Uh, sure. All right. Is this so she very forcefully explains all this shit to him? What? <laughs> oh my okay. God! Well, <laughs> it pairs it down by one point. Yeah, you charm him. He is. He's looking like he's coming down from a little bit more than a porging. Are we in, are we indoctrinating the youth now? Um. <laughs> now, what are these pictures that I'm seeing? Okay, so most of it is a lot of. Uh, it actually doesn't look like Blythe has said anything. Like he might be busy. Uh huh. Uh, but it looks like the the. Uh, well, his fan base might not be taking too kindly to Greg's. Uh, Greg's apology. Uh. <laughs> um, and they uh, they only actually had a partial picture from what looks to be an old wanted poster. Uh, but they've digitally retouched it. And uh, Oh my god, Greg already has a disguise because he's shaved. Yeah, so honestly, yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, it, it doesn't actually look very accurate anymore. Obviously because of the shaving. But also uh, <laughs> yeah. because, you know, digitally... Thank goodness for the shaving. Uh, but you know, digitally retouching it wasn't exactly Why do you think kind I bought the to the voice him. modulator too. <laughs> oh no, he's got a full helmet on. So at this point, Greg, Greg is just not very Gregish. He went from huh. looking like a bugbear to looking like Judge Dredd. Yeah, pretty much <laughs> with, with his giant. Oh my god, chin. he does look like Judge Dredd. Yeah, the uncomfortably when you, when large. You, when you shin. surprise shaved him with that machine, were you thinking about disguising him? Uh, <laughs> or was it just a joke? I bit of both. <laughs> Half of the shit that happens in this campaign works out in your favor by sheer accident. Anyway. Or does it? Uh, well, it's a mix. Okay. I mean, none uh, of us have died yet, oh. which is a record for any D&D game I've ever played. Plenty um, of us have died. Correction. It's just we scoot around it. <laughs> yeah. I, I have given you guys a considerable <laughs> amount of leeway when it comes to death. Yeah. <laughs> My only death ever was a GM decides to kill you instantly <laughs> death. To be fair, uh, it you was. Were, you were acting very assy. <laughs> very assy. I was that trying to a, save you. That wasn't a rock's fault. Drez dies. That was a, are you sure you want to do this? All right. <laughs> anyway, so Overcoming he is. challenges is what druids do. He is currently torn real hard between his burgeoning extreme friendship with you and his Aww. fanboyishness over, uh, this guy just wants to be liked. Sheesh. Wow, Alaren. Instead of putting him out of his misery once and for all, you put him into <laughs> torment. Hey! Yeah. Emotional okay. torment. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at all Women. this. People and their rumors. <laughs> this is just sensationalism at its finest. I mean, they are kind of... They do, they do get kind of heated whenever anybody says anything mean about Blythe. Alaren's just in his ear going, Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Huh. This is this is rather peculiar. This that, is considerable. That must be. I know who it is. That must be Grug. 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 Oh my oh. god. 
I need Hi. a beer. I'll be right back. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that he smashed good. Start start rolling <laughs> some bluffs. He is predetermined to like you, but okay. These are some long cons. <laughs> the best lie you could come up with was changing one letter. Uh, okay, the twin. Uh, okay, you have him wrapped around your finger. The twin brother <laughs> of Greg. Oh my! Look at him. Just with his evil he, beard. Isn't, isn't he just so uncouth and incorrigible? Uh, of course, people would would think that, you know, he was able to take this fine vessel? No, no, not in the slightest. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're telling these lies about Greg, and he's not in the room to know them, both nope. in character and in person. <laughs> no, nope, no. Nope. Both versions of Bird don't know about this lie right now. Well, so... What can you show me of the station? Boy? Oh. I, I don't like the fact that I have to call him boy. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Let me What's think of news, a name that boy? is... You are the guide. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think of a name for him where yeah, boy, boy is the short version. Because I, I don't want to Boy-tano. keep... Boytano. <laughs> Boisterous. Yeah. Boisterous. But I like Boytano. <laughs> Boytano. Yeah. Well, can I just use the last name? But Tano. It, it makes sense. I mean, I'm used to boy, but I guess Tano works. Sure. Uh, uh it no, it's okay. Uh, anyway. Or how about I call him? So, Bo? how did you guys manage to get, uh, get the ship away from from Grung? Oh, Grug. Oh, well... Grug. Sorry. <laughs> Grug, Gek, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gek, dude. <laughs> well, Grug, if there's. An avarice that he has, it's it's his penchant to consume anything intoxicating like alcohol. Avarice was definitely not the right word. An avarice? Or a vice. Vice, sorry. Vice, that's the one. That's, sorry. Okay. There you go. A vice, yes. He has a vice for alcohol. And it doesn't <laughs> befit him. What? <laughs> Nothing. Keep going. <laughs> these are these are the <laughs> bit snipey. attacked right now. <laughs> all, all we had to do was <laughs> slip him up some alcohol, and yeah. oh yeah, he has he a high was... paying job in at a tech company in some city where people wear a lot of wool. <laughs> <laughs> and that was enough to to knock it out. And oh yes, you know now that we finally. Purloined the ship from Grug, we can finally return it to Blythe. Well, that's that's good. I hope you uh, gave him what for. Okay. Uh, well, I've sent him a message and told him his ships ships at uh, at this station. I oh, I hope he'll be able to make it here soon. Okay. Yeah. I just I just need to talk with uh, some of my compatriots and arrange our meeting. That's all right. Uh. Yeah. No problem. All right, I'm going to go. Nim. Yes. Nim, 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 nim. Nim comes out and he's he kind of fuzzy. shouting for Nim in a random room. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um. Please don't shout that. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. You so you use that name back when you had the what? big no. packed and it's just it makes you look crazy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, okay. Dr. Nimbus. Okay. Blythe will be coming with the Freebooters. But if I've heard anything of them, it's that they may potentially help us. Uh, it depends on the, the Freebooters. Well, th these are uh, the, the... The Blacks and the Reds, I know. Yes, yes. Yeah, they're... Well, I mean, if you're trying to thr throw your lots in, we really should go to a different place. I mean, no one can hear us, but... We should go elsewhere. Okay. Here, well, come. Well, I heard the slurm here is delicious. Well, actually, Dr. Nim. Yes? I need you to, like, cloak or hide the ship. Oh, it's cloaked. Everything's cloaked. What do you mean by everything's cloaked? Uh, this whole station's <laughs> under a giant cloaking field. Right. Most stations are. Or in asteroids. Or in the shells of their destroyed planets. Uh, how many planets have been destroyed? Most of them. Ouch. This is a long war. I understand, and I'm I'm trying all that I can to ensure See, that it ends sooner than later. Deal. So, 
What I'm wondering is if you can keep the ship cloaked and away from the station. Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a second. Because I have a feeling that when Blythe comes, he's just going to want to take it by force. But if he doesn't have access to it immediately, then maybe he'll at least oh, be right. willing to Oh, right. You're trying to us. set up a parlay with him. Well, sure. I've uh, I've pretty much hidden it, hidden it from radar. You'd have to force the door open to find the thing. Oh, well, wait. So it's no longer in the dock? No, it's still there. You're just not going to see it. But then wouldn't someone just bash into it if they're trying to park there? Eh, I control the docking systems. Everybody's going on the left side today. <laughs> Fun funny that. Oh, wow. I... I mean, my people have a ton of Magitech, but this is just beyond me. I mean, I built this station, so it's not too hard to take it back. You built the station? Why isn't everyone, like, googling you and being like, Ah, oh, it's him! Because I don't look like I used to. Oh. oh. Called being incognito. Anyway, we should go get some slurm. Otherwise, we're just conspiring in a hallway, which looks really suspicious. Slurm? Oh. Also, in what reality do people act that way about someone building a place? Uh, uh I don't know. Triton culture is very interesting. <laughs> We, Being an architect is the most amazing thing in Triton culture. I mean, have you ever built anything underwater? I mean, yeah, it sucks. it's really hard in so, Minecraft. Being yeah. a creator of anything. Nah, that, that should attribute some manner of praise to you. I assume they're going to walk right past, like, Greg and everyone, yeah. yeah? Yeah, no. Okay, well, Greg is going to do what he always does, which is follow Zalaren wherever she goes. <laughs> Wait, wait, you really did just walk by everyone. Yeah, yeah. well, oh. I mean, he's bringing you to the cafeteria, so... Greg is just gonna push the flurf box along the ground. For some reason, my mouse <laughs> oh. is not, like, being plugged just... into this side of the computer. So what, am I, like, uh, sweeping up all the crumbs and dirt? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh. yeah, you're... <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> You always have been. That part didn't change. <laughs> yeah, it's just you have slightly more surface area now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Flirth. Oh. I must speak with you. Oh, oh sorry, right. I'm getting pushed right now. Hold on. I, I stopped pushing him. I stopped oh. pushing the Flirth at the door as soon as Lauren says that. For some reason, it's interpreting all my at single clicks door. and drags as several yeah. clicks. It's not good. I don't know why it's doing this. I just set my color to transparent and I don't get that. Huh, funny. Wait. I, I haven't had that happen. Huh? Color to transparent? Uh, just set the yeah, alpha so on it. The, the little color square next to your name. Okay. I just put to zero or nothing or. There. Uh, they're the very bottom. Oh, you're right. Wow, that really fixed it. How did you figure that out? Wait, which colored square? This. I just oh, that noticed one. that the the uh, color of the circle and what you draw, I think, is the same color as um. Yeah, it is. That's yeah, what you but choose for, there. For some reason, nice. I was just having issues dragging my character around because I drag my character around a lot to to gesticulate. So I need that. All right, that must be a recent bug or something. Well, in any case, flurf. Yep. 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 What? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The flurf consumes. Are you really going to have this conversation in the front of the restaurant in front of everybody? Oh no. no, no. No, no, no. The worst I, I was just asking us. him a <laughs> hypothetical question about something else. Flurf? Yes. You Get can... into the booth! Okay, fine! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Flurf. You can bio-interface oh, no. with, with various wireless devices, correct? Uh, yes, I can. Would this include viewing monitors? That is a good question. Would it include viewing monitors? Uh, I guess it would include the, the cameras. Well, would it... Is there like a... Is there a screen, like a TV around here? I mean, I know that the camera. You want me to change the channel? Computer. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I was wondering if I could provide memories to you that you could show on the screen. Oh. You're going to let him touch your brain? 
No, no. I would specifically designate what memories I afford him, but I may need this in our argument with the pirates. Well, f in order to uh, sway them to our cause, I suppose. All right. Uh, are there any grains around here that I could use? Uh, like, aside from, I guess, that one room with the boy in it. Yeah, there's there's displays everywhere. There's there's uh there there's monitors here that seem to be showing some kind of rerun from a sport that none of you recognize. <laughs> Slurm ball. Yeah. It it's pretty much it looks like hockey, but instead of ice it's just slurm. <laughs> oh god. Uh, they're sliding on slurm. What yeah, is this? It, it's like some kind of weird mix between soccer, rugby, and hockey where they have sticks. But they oftentimes just like <laughs> chuck the stick away and punt the ball instead, and most blitz, people are just blitz flailing ball. on the ground, covered in co covered in slurm. It's it's bad. Uh, just ew. imagine blitz ball, but they're swimming in, okay. in slurm. All right, well, That's let me so... see if I can uh, interface with these monitors. Uh, yes, you very much can. There is yep. not much se security on them. Ah, oh, okay. Well. I should I test this? Let me see where I suppose it's a level two spell. That shouldn't be too bad. Is there a, a screen just for the booth that we're in? Oh uh, yeah. We look like okay, we're all just cool. So we can do this, this bizarre uh, giant box on a table. <laughs> we can do okay. this privately without uh, changing everyone's channel. All right, so. I, will... I can't see Nim. Greg can't see Lauren. <laughs> this is a giant cube. <laughs> I will, I will lightly place my hand upon Flurf's forehead. You're having a trouble finding forehead from face from <laughs> everything else between his eyebrows. Okay, and I will envision Nayarath back in its prime with its, with its. Tall spires and the endless ocean waves roiling against its piers, and ships flying about, powered by by violet magic, and clouds rolling by with two suns in the sky, and you see the occasional creature, like a giant whale like behemoth, leap out of the water and crash into the waves again, and there are Birds cawing in the sky. Okay, so I imagine that Flurf is seeing like this three-dimensional beautiful picture, and whatever I'm displaying on the monitor is like a pixelated garbage version of that. Actually, Jeez. what you are seeing is pure static, and everything that's on the screen is worse. Oh. Wait, okay. really? Why couldn't I share my memory with him? You don't know? <laughs> oh no is it okay um... Flurf you're getting a bit of a a headache it's like brain freeze but I, since I, your I... body is brain it's just uncomfortable I will switch the memory to a memory from the pirate base where okay this one you're getting and it's specifically when I'm looking out and Greg is going to the bathroom in the stall. You are getting a nice view of Greg <laughs> oh. just projectile shitting all over a room. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I'm, I'm relaying that to the monitor for everyone to see. <laughs> uh, why did I need this in my life? <laughs> Greg is <just> staring. <laughs> Alarin. <clears throat> oh, the voice modulator. Alarin, what the fucking <laughs> fuck are you putting up on the monitor right now? What the hell is going on in your sick, twisted mind? I turn it off. I just had to experiment. It turns out Gone. That... Ah, I let that fall <laughs> into my arms. Dress, come with me. We're getting, we're getting slurm. No, you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always covered in vomit and shit? Wait, I want slurm. You should be allowed near You're food. You're doing stuff with Lara. Don't come with you me. You should be banned from this building. Okay, well, it's <laughs> off now. You're a health hazard. All right, so, Drez, what you I was slurm. displaying there was my memory of Nairath. It <laughs> must, it must have been blocked by whatever Vivi was talking about about how my home world, 
I I'm pretty sure if I gave a, 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 a memory to Flurf of 5e of Zagnoth, it would probably turn up as static as well, but I had to make sure that my memories of my world and the memories of something that happened more recently, something in known space, if one was visible and not the other, this is, this is beyond comprehension. How could the Celestials, how could the gods block out even my memories from, from view, from other people? What if they're just not real? Oh, oh. You, you, <laughs> look at me. I, I am a Triton. I, I come from Nairath. We, we are. Why is Nim shifting? I was staring into a corner. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I. And insight check. <laughs> 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 we, is inside even a stat? No. Uh, it might be a sense motive. <laughs> sense motive. He's really oh, yeah. intent there on having his. Wow. <laughs> uh, you can't tell. No. Oh. Probably. He just he just tried to stealth fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You can't tell if he's lying to you, or what. I suspect if that cramps. if we try to bring back anything from from Zagnoth or from my home world or the reaches of space that have been blocked out because of magic, then but I'm wondering, how is it that we haven't been erased from existence yet? What does Zagnoth have to do with being blocked out by magic? Well, remember, be because of what happened to Zagnoth... Remember what? This is our first conversation about this. Uh, I mean, you saw the footage that Skitter gave you, right? But wait a minute. How does Skitter have that footage? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Where is Skit Man, anyway? Yeah! He's only not at the yeah. table. How, well, yeah, how, how can... How can video be blocked if the entire basis of showing me that Zagnoth's been destroyed involves showing me a video? Right. Is this just selective editing? Like, what? How? Hi. It's very selective editing. The power what? of a DM. What does that mean? I don't know. Look, I. it's the only footage they, there is, and I didn't have it. Like, it was on the net before I was on the net. I see, so... Are we on the net? Uh, In a sense. Dreg certainly is. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Drez, it's terrible. I. This is something I had to discuss with Greg about. I need to, to convince him... What if Zagnoth's him... fine and we're all in a simulation? Uh... I mean, that's true, but... <laughs> can't complain about it too much. I, I need to apologize to Greg, but I also need to explain that we're technically working under the, uh, oh, what was it? Under the pretense that it was a evil twin brother of his that stole the I ship. I know. Yeah. But, uh, Bly Blythefan96 uh, has been very av avid about Grug being the true <laughs> villain of everything. He is on a, he's on a crusade. I haven't seen anybody on the internet this hard in ages. Oh, good, good. There's some high quality gifts of that uh, that man. Oh wow. Huh. Well. There's already least... a triple X parody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, at at least at least we have something uh to go on. It something... Turns out, Grug Smash good. <laughs> 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 Durf doesn't Grux even know smash that. Slow. Yeah, Durf doesn't even know that Grux Smash good was a character in this campaign. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, uh, that was a yeah. really early character. Was Grux Smash good? Oh, yeah, but this is Grug. Oh. It's it doesn't just sound funny. It's wordplay. <laughs> okay, well, I have to apologize to Greg, but essentially, I was able to convince uh, Boitano to 
vouch for us. Bring Blythe here, but Dr. Nim tucked the ship away so that it can't be seen. And we're going to have to parlay with the pirates and convince them to help us in defeating the Flaming Eye. Because apparently Dr. Nim said that this toxin only serves to, like, stun the creature. And oh, yeah. Needs to be no. bombarded well, space. okay. It's a little bit more than stun. It's like giving it, like, one hell of a flu. Or maybe a bender. I don't know. Okay. Let's but... just let's just say the uh, the source tests haven't been pretty. It doesn't kill him. But it'll give me just long enough to blast it to oblivion. Which is really what we need. Right. And the more help we can get, the better, especially because I am assuming this planet's crawling with, like, a fleet of ships. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, this is why you need one of those organic ships to get near. Right. And there's, we'll need... it's, uh, well, there'd be too many losses if we mounted a direct assault. Correct. All right, well, I have to apologize to Greg. Excuse me. I, like, scoot around. Uh... Greg? Greg and Durf, or Flurf. I guess we're talking to this guy. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're busy trying to order some yeah. slurm. I've ordered, I believe we've oh, already no. ordered, he like... Is, he has got a platter of slurm for both of you. Mint, right, slurm, um, mint slurm for the box creature, and, <laughs> uh... Uh... Purple uh, slurm. Pur yeah. And the, oh wait, purple slurm for Greg, or purple yeah. slurm for... Okay. You've never tasted purple before, but this this is chock full of it. <laughs> it tastes probably very flurf like. Old yeah, he's flurf. tasted flurf not this, before. Not this current flurf. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? Uh, it's a purple flurf. I mean, old, old flurf it was purple. Flurf. No, no, I'm talking. It about tastes like purple? extinct flurf. You're all, you, did something happen to you? Yeah, he turned purple. Oh. Hello, uh, what? Purple Greg. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, that artificial huh. coloring has gotten to you. Huh. Not to be confused with the time that Flurf turned into Greg. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he was weird. also very distressingly purple. <laughs> the lines are blurring. All right. Um, what the hell did... What, why am I purple? Oh, you wanted, you wanted purple... Uh, purple arm. Oh. That explains it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. <laughs> uh, Greg, I just wanted to apologize. I, unfortunately, when I was trying to concoct some kind of memory that was more recent and took place on a, on a station or a world or a realm that we know that hasn't been afflicted by whatever the... the you guys are all just standing around a table that two people are sitting at. Magic curse was. It, uh... <laughs> Yeah, the NPCs. You've just like taken, get in the booth. You've just, like, <laughs> you've just like taken over these people's table. Oh, sorry. Okay, back just, to the booth. They just start, I like, assume that they probably Greg, this, back to the booth. They're talking about a work and a bugbear and a trite and just start talking <laughs> over them. <laughs> yeah, well, well my story is more is just, important. The, ta the table is very table -y today, right? <laughs> and the other one's like, I like the store. It's got stuff in it. Larf for the booth. <laughs> I will lock you in to this the booth. window. To the booth. <laughs> I will lock you in here. I'm going to stand here. No conversations outside of this booth. Oh, All right. Okay. What were you saying, to Lauren? <laughs> well, I, what I was saying was I'm I'm really sorry that I got Flurf to display that image. It unfortunately, in recent memory, that was probably the most memorable. I'm and just glad nobody's blaming me for that one. <laughs> no, no, I was the one that provided the memory. It wasn't at all your fault, Flurf. It was all Yeah, well, me. now I'm stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be used to it by this point. I had a whole life without that memory. <laughs> and it's gone now. <laughs> but I think it confirmed my suspicion that my home world, and I mean, maybe if I were to get Flurf to display something of Zaknoth. Maybe it truly has been wiped out of existence by some kind of god magic. Are you saying that Zagnoth no longer exists? I mean, it probably no longer exists physically, considering what we did to it. But I... 
I mean, I am wondering how the footage that Skitter has exists, and yet... Okay, well... Maybe whoever put out the footage is censoring you? Is it just me? Or is it... You'd have to find somebody else with memories of... the uh, Nerath. Well, uh... Or other someone else with memories of... Just check of... the source on the content ID claim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, the only way that we could find someone else with a memory of Nerath would be to find another Triton. And we haven't seen any thus far, and people don't seem to recognize me. So... There are way easier ways to make friends than to, like, go on a quest to try and, you know, find... Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong voice. There are way easier ways to make friends than to go on a weird quest like this, Alarin. Why do you want to find a Triton? I want to know if my world still exists. If they're still locked in, in combat, their their eternal war with the Leviathans. I mean, the Flaming Eye is our most... Of course they're still at eternal war. That's what the eternal means. Skitter, spacebook me. Okay, uh... Wait, are we talking Spacebook is in like oh, right, right. the social network or Yes. I'm One going minute. to okay. look up Tritons in my air. <laughs> well, Lonely <laughs> Tritons looking for love. Okay. Skitter just confused An like, another thing, Facebook Greg, with the I, concept I need to of like tell the you, player handbook. I sort of altered the memory of the boy so that he didn't remember being a porg and being al almost fed to flurf, but I made it so that it was your evil twin brother Grug that stole the ship to save us and then we're trying to get it back to Blythe. Oh, that's not bad. Ah, what just happened? Okay. Sorry, I tried to I tried to roll a, a 1d6. <laughs> All so, right, what do we find when I space book for it? It uh, um, hot young tritons. Wait, why are you looking up Hot young tritons. What? What is? Yeah, it? I just is, need. Uh, is this walking fish lady not good enough for you? Well, I mean, all the old ones have lore. <laughs> also, I don't really know if my people were ever connected to. We barely left our home world because we were constantly fighting the Leviathans. Greg, make a Listen, perception 100% check. One hundred percent of tritons I've ever met left their home world. Hang on. Um, well, most of them oh, are okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So, Greg, you have found the, uh... <laughs> you take Skitter's phone, uh, and more or less start, uh, immediately scrolling down, uh, Spacebook, and it is nothing but, uh, <laughs> derogatory, uh, remarks towards Grug, and, uh, <laughs> some pretty explicit, like... Art and you're uh. you're getting it's getting deep, and you've and kind of forgotten really about the Triton memes. Oh yeah, no, there's some there's some bad memes. There's some almost good ones. Also, Grug likes to drink, so that's how we vanquished him. We we just gave him too much alcohol and left him in a small shuttle in space, and that's our that's our alibi. Okay, that sounds good to me. Hopefully, now that you're purple, clean-shaven, and fully armored, and capable of speaking in this weird voice. Oh, I can always change that. Uh, it just Greg seems a little... Greg spins the voice thing again. Eyes, is this better? <laughs> no! What's the matter with it? Uh... <laughs> I will break that dial before we have to listen to any more of that. Hey, I'm smashing here. <laughs> <laughs> I was the guy who got a river. All right, Greg turns it off for now. <laughs> you know, he's that later. reaching for his hammer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as soon as I saw that that was something I could buy, I was like, okay, we're gonna, okay, we're gonna regret them ever putting that in the game. And maybe we'll have it that Grug uses your name on pretty much any fraudulent 
paperwork that he ever uses so that uh so that he can pin everything on you. Oh, so his his the fake guy's fake name is my real name. Huh. Smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's precisely it. He he tries to pass himself off as you so that when he commits criminal acts, he can peg it on you falsely. Huh. I like this guy. He seems very smart. Uh. You guys uh, want to see a party trick? Blur no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. There's uh, no positive outcome of that. <laughs> Uh, Flurf, uh, ejects the Flurf box, for, like, in a downwards direction so that Flurf flies into the air, and then, <laughs> as he lands back down, he consumes the box again. So, <laughs> just like a quick vomit. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, as, as, oh, just shit. horrible squelching noises. <laughs> okay, for starters, I'm gonna need an acrobatics check for that. A performance or an acrobatics? Also, is there not, like, yeah. a ceiling fan or, like, an Applebee's <laughs> lamp or something? Uh, <laughs> just wax the Flurf. <laughs> yeah, ceiling fan blade. Okay, sends him flying. So, so Flurf oh, manages God. to deftly avoid the lamp, land back down on the box, and then everybody needs to make a dexterity check. So not reflex, <laughs> it's just dexterity. Uh, you know, reflex will work. It's balance. Uh. Okay. I might want Those to reroll good. mine because <laughs> I have my reflex save to like reroll my reflex. Eh, that's a bit better. Okay. Uh, Drez? A flurf? Wait, me too? Yeah, everybody. Includes oh, you no. guys. Ah! What the? <laughs> wow. Well, Flurf's the one okay, so, the axe. so Flurf, you managed to seal yourself with a table? Question mark? You don't have to uh. worry about a thing. Okay, so Alaren uh, uses one of her rerolls. Greg, you fall on your ass. Drez, you fall on your ass. As the whole station shakes. Whoa! And you what? Notice, Wait, what? You How notice, did you do that? You notice <laughs> Dr. Nim just disappear. You did not, you did not do that. Oh, the blight sound is here. Oh, no. All right. And then almost immediately you see a couple of things kind of almost like blink into existence in the cafeteria. <gasps> oh, my oh, gosh. Shit. Are they Dimitri Bot Mark IIs? And they start shooting. They look like Dimitri Bot Bark Mark Twos. Oh no. Okay, so we have to roll initiative. Oh yeah, yeah. It's initiative time. Why does everyone suck? Oh, what did I have to think highlight my, my character. Okay. I, what I think of your trick is what? that two of us ah. are starting this fight prone. I had a four, <laughs> yeah, roll okay. of fourteen, but <laughs> but then it. Uh, I hate that you have to wait, highlight I your oh. character. Yeah, do that. hold on. Thanks. Also, how are you going to fight as a cube? I mean, I just need not. to. It it makes it so his dexterity does not affect his uh, armor class, but otherwise he is <laughs> now if they functional. Can you just did, like eat them? Did they have a entry craft that's keeping a seal, or is air whooshing out? Oh no, they just appeared. It's magic. It's Drez. And what? You thought the party could relax for a while, not have to deal with any combat for a while, sit back and eat some slurm for a while without having to worry about, you know, somebody coming in to shoot at them. Well, surprise! And if you recognize those robots, well, I think you're in luck. I guess everybody else will have to find out who and what they are and what they want on the next episode of Shattered Planets.